The U.S. Marines Corps tested a multi-purpose mini-drone designed to carry a range of payloads and be fired from grenade launchers. Developed by Australian firm Defentex, the DRONE-40 was photographed, being hand-launched by a Marine of the 2nd Marine Division at Cambla, June in North Carolina. The unit is an experimental infantry battalion to test new gear, operating concepts and force structures, the U.S. Department of Defense said. The drone was first pictured publicly earlier this year, when British Army troops stationed in Mali were reported to have received them as part of Operation Newcomb. Their mission was to provide logistical support for Operation Barkhane, a French-led regional counter-terrorism effort providing peacekeeping options to the United Nations Mali Mission. E technology. Germany officially launched a new military space command center on Tuesday, which it will use to observe other countries' activities and track hazardous space junk. During the inauguration of the German Space Situational Awareness Center in Uitem, Defense Minister Annegret kramp karrenbauer said that the new center is designed to respond to the increasing significance of space for our state's ability to function. Furthermore, she explained that establishing a space station could benefit German citizens and heighten utilization by the armed forces of space-based data, services, and products. It is an important step towards strengthening the ability to act in the dimension of space, kramp karrenbauer remarked. The German military currently has six reconnaissance satellites in orbit. Space operations in the country are always defensive to protect Germany's people and infrastructure, Kram Karrenbauer said. The Hyderabad-based unmanned military systems manufacturer claimed to have developed an autonomous counter-drone system capable of protecting an area of 386 to 772 square miles. Called Indrigil, the Wide Area System is designed to counter a host of unmanned aerial threats such as UAVs, incoming weapons, loitering munitions, the Hindu wrote, citing an official from system developer, Green Robotics. Indrigil is capable of identifying, assessing, deciding, acting, and evolving autonomously in real time, round the clock. Whether the threat is single, or multiple or a combination of UAVs, loitering munitions and such, the system is capable of countering all such threats. Inrigil can provide multiple solutions to unmanned aerial threats by identifying, assessing, and acting against the threat and neutralizing, capturing, or stalling them in real time. The Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation has signed a contract with the Franco-Italian Eurosam Consortium, co-owned by MBDA and Thales, to refurbish 1,000 Aster missiles owned by the UK Royal Navy and Italian Army and Navy. Work on the $1.42 billion contract will begin in 2023 and is expected to be complete within 13 years, an Ocker statement revealed. The contract follows one signed for the refurbishment of French Aster missiles in January 2020, Eurosam stated. The refurbishment work will be carried out at locations in the UK and Italy. The Aster air defence system provides 360-degree protection for an area spanning 5,791 square miles, according to Eurosam. The system can neutralize a target as far as 31 miles, horizontally, and 12.4 miles vertically. France and Italy have ordered an upgraded version of the system. It will be delivered by 2025. The next generation of Hawkeye protected mobility vehicle, Light has reached a significant milestone with the approval of initial operational capability under Land 121 Phase 4. The $2 billion project will see the new fleet of 1,100 Australian-built light-protected vehicles rolled out to Army and Air Force units. The Hawkeye is expected to reach full operational capability in 2023 and is joining the existing Bushmaster and protected medium-heavy capability trucks to create a suite of protected mobility vehicles, Minister for Defence Peter Dutton said. The new fleet of lighter vehicles, which will come with 1,058 trailers, will better protect and or in Frank's personnel from blast and ballistic threats. Minister for Defence Industry Melissa Price said the Hawkeye project is delivering vehicles manufactured in Victoria at the Thales Protected Vehicles Facility in Bendigo. This project is an excellent example of Australian industry providing defence capability to meet Australian requirements, Minister Price said. Hawkeye has been designed and built in Australia by Thales Australia, which supports Australian jobs and Australian service personnel. <laughs>